Another big story we're watching, a special congressional election in Georgia today that Republicans in particular are watching very closely. Voters in the Atlanta suburbs will choose a replacement for former Congressman Tom Price, now the Health and Human Services Secretary. It's a district that usually votes Republican in a traditionally red state, but we've talked about Georgia before, and there are a lot of shifting demographics there. Democrats hope they can capitalize on divisions within the GOP to flip the seat. Jonathan Sterry joins us live from Sandy Springs, Georgia, with more. Jonathan? Hi, Jenna. Well, all morning we've seen a steady stream of voters coming in and out of the polling room behind me, and it was the same situation during early voting. Uh, you know, both parties have been giving this race a lot of national attention. As far as the Democrats, they've really been rallying around John Ossoff, the 30 year old documentary filmmaker and former congressional aide, has raised more than $8 million. And with the Republican field splintered among 11 candidates, Democrats are hoping to win today's special primary outright and avoid a runoff in June. That runoff um, will be a challenge, and is a, but I, I think everything that we've done thus far has been leading us up to uh, not just to end on on uh, April 18th. That's what it comes to, right? If we need to push past that, I think we're very capable and, and ready to do so. Right now, the energy is with the Democratic Party. We understand that. Um, that being said, I still think this is a Republican district. I still think this is a district we can win. When it does get to a nine-week runoff, hopefully on Tuesday evening, I like our chances in a one-on-one -on -one race. Well, I'm not sure. And today, President Donald Trump tweeted, Democrat John Ossoff would be a disaster in Congress, very weak on crime and illegal immigration, bad for jobs, and wants higher taxes. Say no. President Trump went on to tweet, quote, Republicans must get out today and vote in Georgia 6. Force runoff and easy win. Dem Ossoff will raise your taxes, very bad on crime, and Second Amendment. But Georgia's 6th Congressional District favors establishment Republicans. Donald Trump carried it in the November election by less than two percentage points. So while Republicans try to leverage their conservative advantage in this affluent and educated Atlanta suburb, Democrats are trying to appeal to moderate voters who may not be completely on board with the Trump administration. Now, to avoid a runoff, Jenna, one of these candidates has to get more than 50% of the vote in today's special primary. That's no easy task, given that in this so-called jungle primary, all 18 candidates, we're talking about Democrats, Republicans, and Independents, all 18 of them are listed on the same ballot. Jenna? Wow, Jonathan, thank you.